what the spirit world um, actually uses to do things. Um, and that's why most haunted places are due to the fact that there's an emotional attachment. Now, it could be that the spirit is already in the building. Um, it's not moved on and basically it has got a lesson to learn or uh, maybe a trauma or something that's happened there. Or it could be a case that it just loved being there. And so it's not until you start decorating or doing stuff that changes. It sort of ignited the spirit there. So first of all, if you can cleanse yourself, your home, then you can make it a little bit more difficult for spirit to be there. It could also be a reason. If you're developing, then basically um, you will attract energies to learn from. You be, might be sending up a big beacon that says, Spirit world, I can communicate. So often it could be a family member trying to communicate with you because family members also have emotional attachments. They are here to try and guide us so that they can clear their emotions out as well as ours. So the first thing you need to do when you're, when you're looking at a haunted place is find out the, the story of why the spirit's there. Then there's other things that you can do, um, like bringing unconditional love into it. Just imagine the time when you felt the most love. Pour that, imagine that pouring all the way around the house. Um, that will neutralize any negativity. Um, into look into the ley lines. There's energy lines in, in most houses and stuff, um, which these are like the old Roman roads and stuff like that are full of energy. These energies, if they get negative, will mean that it's like a portal to the other world. And so at night time, you'll find that spirit will come and do electrical things or, or try and make the place negative so that it can actually survive in the, in the home. Um, so I see spirit world as some family member or some spirit that's just really basically needs a little bit of help and guidance to move on. So there's things that you could do to make it harder for the spirit to be there. You can actually tell the spirit to go, all right? But like everything, if you find the lesson or you find the, um, the story out, it'll emotionally go anyway, sort of thing. You'll release the attachment it has um, to the place uh, and to yourself. Um, just imagine pure energy, uh, nature's energy in the home, like the sun, the waterfall, the moon, um, trees. These are all, or the sea, these are all great energies that keep the place flowing and make it difficult for the spirit world to be there. There is a, I've done thousands of homes and there's always a story and basically you've got to clear the emotional. So if you're very emotional or it's triggering your own emotions, then you have to deal with your own emotions to make it a lot easier to house cleanse. If you need any help, then please get in contact and be careful of who in, you invite into the home. Even putting white light at the door will mean it'll stop people bringing in negativity as well. Because sometimes we actually pick up negativity at work, at places we visit, haunted places and all sorts, and they're attracted to our energies. So sitting in your place in white light once you cleanse the nature, once you brought all conditional love into home, will make your home feel alive. Because remember, your vibration creates your reality. So if your home isn't flowing in pure energy, then you're going to attract a lot of negativity into your life. Okay, I hope this helps, but there's loads more I could talk about this subject. As I say, I've done thousands of house cleansings and basically um, I channel information to, to and learn as I do it. So good luck on your journey.